All right. So I know, you know, but uh, I already spoke on it. So there's no point in even questioning why it's been another day. So we're just going to get past all of that. Anyways, guys, today I'm going to be doing something that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are aware or not necessarily aware of in the versus battle community. But this was a request I got. So I thought it was pretty interesting personally. So I thought I would dive into it. Mordecai and Rigby come from regular show, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. Actually, scratch that. It is my favorite cartoon of all time. I literally watched this like almost every day and have posted multiple shorts of it on this very channel. That is how much I love regular show. With that being said, I love Gravity Falls 2. I think it is one of not the best uh, Disney animated TV shows of all time. Um, I think it would be Star versus The Force of Evil for me if, you know, that didn't turn out like it did. In any case, I do think it is very important that I discuss how this battle is going to go, and it is not going to go like many versus battles prior to it. Although the sections of one and two will still remain the same, and I cover it at the end, I do think it is very important to understand that the request was to use prep time and give the characters prep beforehand, which, if you don't know, um, well, it's not going to really matter in the outcome of this battle at all, actually. So, but yeah, we'll, we'll still do it anyways. But yeah, it, it, it truly will not matter uh, at all. But yeah, let's get into this right now. Uh, if you guys do enjoy the video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. And yeah, let's get into this right now. Okay, so I think it'd be better to just cobble like the, like the, the Dipper and Mabel first. Because honestly, they're, they're, theirs will take less time. So we'll just dive into them. So Mason Dipper Pines, uh, born August 31st, 1999, five minutes after River Pines, is a smart, curious, and adventurous 12-year-old, 13-year-old at the end of the series, boy spending the summer with his great uncle Santa Gravity Falls, Oregon, where he and his twin sister constantly encounter the town's paranormal side of almost a mysterious journal. He is the two protagonists of Gravity Falls who dares to investigate the mysteries of this summer home. So looking at um, the powers and abilities for Dipper, he, uh, he has knowledge of supernatural creatures and other phenomena, has a magnet gun as well as a mind erasing gun, has skill in using weapons ranging from swords to spears to bow arms, and can successfully fight with a fire stroker as a sword, and dominant will was able to resist the corruption of uh, Mabel Land, something Bill Cypher said would take a, a will of titanium to do, side so manipulation with the crystal. Now, when looking at Mabel, uh, Dipper's attack potency, he is at least wall level, was able to outpower the multi bear, putting it into a chokehold. So, essentially, just jumping a great distance and mashing through a glass door can harm his clones, which he states are his equals, which could incredible durability. He was able to capture the uh, Grenlomen, though how exactly he did this was unknown, likely higher, can harm Gideon and Gleeful, so on and so forth, with scale to the high end of this durability. Now, what really is to take away from Dipper, uh, Mabel pretty much actually is like weaker. I've already seen Mabel in the previous video. Her powers and abilities are knitting, so on and so forth. And um, honestly, the scaling for Mabel is just the same as him, except Mabel has a grapple gun. They also have the um, the all their weapons. They have all the weapons. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, I'm gonna be giving them prep time and all their weapons. So yeah, they're gonna have all of those, and we're gonna see if it if it makes them, um, you know, close or um, makes this a close battle, or if this is even like a win or like we'll see we'll see what happens. But yeah, they have the memory gun and the high altering crystals. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all the weapons that Mabel and Dipper even show throughout the series. So yeah, we're giving them all of those things. And of course, Dipper has his journal, but that really doesn't matter in this case because they would be fighting in a neutral area where so they wouldn't even actually have access to any of this stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll just do Mabel's summary and then we can just talk about like, you know, the the Mordecai and Rigby section because that's pretty much all I got for them. So yeah, born August 31st, 1999, five minutes before Dipper finds. Uh, she takes a much less serious approach to life than her twins as she navigates her way around odd new surrounding. She is one of the two main protagonists of the series. So that being said for Mabel, I just wanted to cover Mabel. Not that there's anything to cover. She doesn't scale higher. They scale exactly the same. We can cover Mordecai and Rigby, which let's do that right now. Okay, so when looking at Mordecai and Rigby, they will also have all these things. And I think you'll see like even during this section, like how crazy Mordecai and Rigby truly are but like yeah so uh yeah let's just get into this right now uh mordecai and rigby are the main protagonists of the regular show and they are two groundskeepers working at a park under their boss benson 
and his boss, Mr. Maylord, along with all their friends like Pops, Muscle Man, and High Five Ghost. With that being said, let's cover everything we need to. So looking at like Mordecai and Rigby, they have superhuman physical characteristics, can touch and fight High Five Ghost with brain, uh, gen genius intelligence with Brain Max, which they would technically have due to it being in like, like part of that. So they would be, have super intelligence, good at rapping and lying, flight with the basketball powers, plot manipulation and reality warping with the block, with the book of park records, manipulates anything as long as it appears on the park, which wouldn't really matter because they're not gonna be at the park. They're gonna be in a neutral place. They also have reality warping, teleportation, creation, time travel, mind manipulation, wish granting BFR with the power. BFR skips to the moon and can teleport to the moon alongside people, which is to be inside the fight of pops versus anti-pops, can create stuff with it and mind manipulating people. Um, forcing him into get Mordecai a raise, doing something similar to Pops as well. This is uh, due to the power, if that wasn't said already. The power, which is, um, you know, the, the the keyboard that Mordecai and Ruby get in the first episode of the series. Yeah, that's just how much I know about regular show naturally. But uh, yeah, this would be, um, you know, then they also have Type 1 could breathe on the moon with no issues, can hack into system for global wide broadcast. He has shown to carry sound around smoke bombs, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Sleep manipulation with tranquilizer gun, put it the, the death bear to sleep, and energy projection with a ring can shoot lasers and self destruct depending on the setting. Um, and not to mention the fact they have power bestow. The book of part records gave the ice uh, monster the ability of breathing fire. Uh, once again, they say I keep I keep bringing up the book, uh, but honestly, this won't matter in this case unless you know they were just fighting at the park. So yeah. But uh, plot manipulation because anti pop states that the fabric of reality is unraveling due to he and pop's fighting, which in this context in is the narrative in its entirety. And Mordecai and Ruby survive their strongest attack, send them back to the beginning of the show, can create black holes tying in rock, paper, and scissors 100 times, can break the fourth wall when spinning a lot. He can uh, do portals that can get him into the subconscious of other people. This is a uh, paradox negation and uh miracle manipulation via a change in the prophecy from pops so yeah that's more to kind rigby scaling uh for the powers and ability section anyways yeah now we're getting into the attack potency section and then we're getting to speed which if you wanted to know like what mabel and it, it literally was human speed levels it was it was like mabel had athlete level and Dip dipper had like regular speed i know that was supposed to be said in their section or whatever but yeah that that that's what it is i mean i could have covered it in the next section but you know i thought i would just say it right now when looking at the attack potency for Mordecai and Rigby, uh, they started off at wall level, can destroy walls a lot of times, especially showed when he destroyed a wall hitting the, the death bear. Building level comparable to muscle man who compares to skips who accidentally killed Rigby, who was able to regularly hold his own against him. Town level with death Kwon Do and fist of justice is stronger than, which they would both have, which they would have by the way. It's stronger than Rigby using death Kwon Do and Rigby nearly kills skips, destroyed several buildings and nearly destroyed the park hole the force of this punch is created a creator a hundred meters deep with the fist of justice should be comparable to skills who should be stronger than rigby with death Kondo. small city plus level comparable to his durability he can damage rigby in episodes under the small city level plus feet and rigby scales to this as well planet level tainting explosion alongside the whole cast that opened a hole inside a planet and even finished with the whole life on um earth completely then we can say uh at higher ends of scaling, universe plus level because they survived the clash of pops and anti pops, which can reset the universe. Universe level plus with hacks with the power. With the power, Mordecai can completely rewind the events of an episode. Multi universal level through the hack uh, with the realm of Darthon. With the realm of Darthon, uh, give users the cap capability to completely write the rules of the game and you create a universe according to the rules of the game including things like no weapons immunity to rule changes no powers or a magic etc which technically they would have because that isn't a power and ability but uh you know i don't know about that one universe level plus feet uh high multiverses level plus level mordecai ended gaining five dimensionality in one chapter from a elevator that granted him five higher dimensionality and last but not least their max scaling is complex it's a multiverse level he is above the verse's entirety and sees it as an illusion this means they see their own space time as an illusion and they see a dog from a different dimension which is above space time as an illusion along as well as alongside the party verse a higher plane of existence higher with death Kwon Do and fist of justice should be stronger than his base form and their speed is high hypersonic jump from earth to atmosphere in just four seconds which was uh calc around um 
um, MMTL Plus. Um, over 1.5 trillion times faster than light can wield a sword uh, tens of thousands of light years along, travels through the solar system in seconds while playing a basketball match with skips. He can drive through planets in seconds, has dodged lasers, able to hit others in the cast with MMTL Plus reactions, and can keep up with pops and anti-pops with uh, shifts and both travel through the solar system in seconds flew off a black hole and are superior to light years feet. And we can say that Mordecai and Rigby also have immeasurable slash infinite levels of speed comparable to Jake who moves through infinite time crossroads. Time is also a illusion for him, likely immeasurable comparable. Um, Mordecai wants time travel back to where they met Muscle Man by going back to the comet panel that happened. So we can literally say immeasurable. Uh, I like the MFTO plus level speeds. But yeah, now we can get into the section where we cover both and we can just, you know, talk about that real quick. So even looking at like Mabel and Dipper and like giving them all the weapons and even giving them prep time, knowing most of Mordecai and Rigby's like abilities, they still would like know like absolutely nothing. And I mean, like if you gave Mordecai and Rigby prep time, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what happens here. Like um, if you give Mordecai and Rigby prep time, they would have Darth on, not to mention they would all naturally. Okay, I'm gonna do two different scenarios. The first scenario is just assuming they both have all their weapons and stuff, right? So just assuming they both have all their weapons and they just fought each other. Okay, first of all, not only do Mordecai and Rigby just scale like naturally higher than them, they're like large planet level with just scaling alone, not even giving them abilities or most part, not, not including Death Kondo or other things like that, which they would have on them because they would have all their weapons. Mordecai and we, we, Rigby would just literally win. Like, it's just a no diff. Not even, even if Mabel and Dipper had, like, the strength, the strength thing and all this other stuff, because they're just way faster than them. It doesn't matter, like, if they could have those weapons, like, because they would literally just be so much faster. Like, they literally have immeasurable scaling. I said I like the MLTL plus scaling, but I'm just saying, either one is, like, millions of times faster than them. They would just still get speed blitz. Honestly, they get speed blitz. And then, like, let's just say we take prep time into example, and, like, they know this, and, like, they know what weapons they have, because that's what I'm assuming prep time would do. Like, Dipper can make a plan or something, but, like, what plan could he even make? I mean, like, you're dealing with a being that is, like, millions to, like, tens of times faster than them. And, like, I don't really know, like, what, like, what they could do to not get speed blitz. I mean, like, with prep time, I mean, I guess you can make an argument they could set traps, Traps that wouldn't work because once again, they're millions to not like zillions of times faster. And like looking at their weapons, like sure the memory erasing gun would be a useful weapon, but like Mordecai and Rigby are so fast that they could easily dodge that. It just doesn't matter. Then you look at the crystal, which is a great thing and all, but once again, doesn't matter. Get speed blitzed. And then I'm like, Okay, there's literally like nothing they can do to stop getting speed blitzed. But I know like people are just gonna be like, well, speed blitz, Mordecai and Rigby wins, negative diff. So like, what about like not? Well, then we get into Death Kwando and Darthon. Okay, assuming they have Darthon, which they would have, they could just make a reality if they get strength and then that just doesn't happen. Say they just are in the park, the park record's over, they can't do anything about it. That's not fair, though. Kind of is. Because, like, there's nothing that Nabel and Dipper would gain from not being there. But I, I still like to put them in a middle ground. Let's just say we don't even do that and just say, like, okay, Mordecai and Rigby just have Death Kwando. Even if they got shrinked, right? Like, they shrink Mordecai. Let's just say their speed is in, like, MFTO Plus, right? Like, we'll give them that. They would still lose. They would still be just as strong as they are small. That wouldn't change anything. And the reality is... Is Death Kwando would work either way, to big or small, they would still have all their Death Kwando moves, like the Death Punch, the Death Jump. Like, I don't really know what they would do against these these things. So honestly, as far as I'm seeing here, Mordecai and Rigby just win, whether they have prep weapons or anything, they just win. And I mean, I guess we could give them the Shraktron, but Mordecai and Rigby would like scale like still way faster. They're still way stronger and have done more impressive things overall. So even with all that, they would still lose. Like no matter what we do here, no matter if I give them prep, no matter what, Mordecai and Rigby are just that strong. Like Mordecai and Rigby need to fight 
much stronger characters is what i'm saying because this is just not this is just a negative stomp like it's just a negative stomp like more kind would just win now if you have any questions or like anything in the comments section below please tell me i would love to answer them or whatever if you don't think more kind ruby win or something but like if it's just Mordecai and Rigby versus Dipper and Mabel, they scale like higher anyways. They have large plan planet level feats. Once again, in base with none of these powers and abilities. Whereas Dipper and Mabel are athlete level and like wall level, which is just not going to work at, at all in this. So, and literally like just not going to work. So yeah, guys, this is the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to uh, subscribe. That always helps. Uh, much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be making a lot of videos coming and uh, all that good stuff. So, uh, I can never say this enough. I'll never be able to say this enough. Thank you, as always. And, uh, yeah, Mordecai Ruby winning. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. And, uh, yeah, I'm out. And all that good stuff.